Hey, what is going on everybody, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Top 10 Fallout Mods. Today, we're going to be looking at a personal favorite category of mine, and that is Settlement Mods. Now, there's a lot of good Settlement Mods out there, so I may not cover your favorite in this video, and if that's the case, feel free to comment below any mods you think that I'm missing. But, as I said, these are going to be my Top 10 Personal Fallout for Settlement Mods, and, uh, Hopefully you find something new in this video today. You may have seen a lot of these, but hopefully you'll find just one more that you haven't seen just yet. So for starters, we're going to uh, check out a mod that has been seen already in our top 10 Fallout 4 mods of all time, and that is Faster Workshop Workshop Lag Fix by Registrator2000. And what that does is as simple as this. It loads the workshop incredibly fast. And that's really it. That's all it does. And it doesn't need to do much else. Look at that. Look at how fast that is. I have dozens of settlement mods installed and hundreds and hundreds of megabytes worth of data and it still opens just that fast. And I'm not even running this on a top end rig, okay? This is just the power of the script extender. So please check this one out if you haven't already. It is a must have if you're playing on PC. Alrighty, next up we have Workshop Rearranged by D81. This mod does so many things, it's hard to fit into one little bit of a video, but I'll do my best. Uh, here we set up a little building with a couple of the decorations and building options we have available. And you'll notice that the outside of this wall and the inside of this wall are different, and that is not achieved with uh, a piece itself, but actually three or four separate pieces. So. If we take a look at this in the workshop here, you'll see that it's actually a wallpaper. This mod, well, <laughs> we're getting ahead of ourselves here. First of all, this mod rearranges all of the base categories, as well as adds hundreds of new items to the base game, be it just different textures of normal things or different shapes. For example, we have a couple of these wooden walls that we normally wouldn't have access to as well as different colors of them and different doors and sizes of doors, half walls in both vertical and horizontal versions. And that's true for just about every category, for metal, barn, concrete, just about everything. And also some new categories like miscellaneous where we have different types of patchwork where you can board up windows. There's different types of corrugated steel walls to go with the workshop set there is this entire block section, which is where we made this out of here. Underneath, we have oops, a brick wall with two windows, a wallpaper on the inside, and a metal layer on the outside. So you can really get in depth with your basic buildings. There are also a ton of new items for every category, like new planter resources, new types of lighting, new types of power like these little batteries new types of connectors they all do the same thing they just look a little bit different so it adds a lot more options to your settlement builds and uh this is a must-have for me it just adds a lot of variety to what you can normally do as well as access to a lot of items that were in the vanilla game but not accessible in the settlement menus up next we have a very popular mod that is a snappy house kit by roboten roboten it's it's uh it's a word so this adds the new house kits as well as a lot of other building kits it's been updated quite a bit since its first release and uh it is a lot of vanilla structures in the game but have been redone to be modular and you, you're able to make new creations that you wouldn't normally see in the commonwealth but it still fits aesthetically so um, you've seen these buildings a lot, I'm sure, when you're roaming around, but now you can actually build them in your settlements. And all of these are separate pieces. This isn't one large prefab. Now, if you wanted a prefab, you can actually get that. If you're feeling a little bit lazy and you don't want to do it the hard way, you go over to Snappy Builds. You head over to, say, the house section where we made this, and there are entire prefabs ready to go that you can plop down at will, or all of the pieces to make one yourself. Now, it's not just the houses, like I said before. We have bunkers, Bunker Hill town kits, church kits, the Capitol building, decorations, high-tech skyscrapers, industrial buildings, interior building kits, the metal building kit, 
commercial building kit, residential building kit, parking garage, shell kit where you can make a variety of like brick buildings and kind of generic structures, the subway, glass, doors, lighting, which is very, very good to have. You can throw that down like that. Wallpapers, floor covers, furniture, which is a good bit of variety there that you don't have in the base game. And a few more decoration items, as well as landscaping, like adding your own sidewalk. All of these are very useful tools, and if you're trying to build settlements, I don't see how you can exist without this. Moving on to our next mod, we have CVC Dead Wasteland by CVC. And I know what you're thinking, this looks like an ordinary sanctuary house, and well, it kind of is, but this is actually one of many new... Uh, prefabs created by CVC and it's a little bit smaller than a normal sanctuary house and there's a couple of these that you can actually grab from his mod and kind of fill in sanctuary if you want to there's a handful of new custom items like this power box um, these all use vanilla assets some of these do not there are a lot of nice little decoration pieces and the idea with Dead Wasteland is it's run down realistic looking survivalistic type of furniture and decorations like a settler actually built this themselves and didn't have a lot of time put into it but also recently he's added a couple of new meshes and textures himself like these backpacks workbenches piano uh this bean bag here and uh let's take a look at the menu just to see some other options if we head over to dead wasteland we have a ton of cool prefabs in different categories here little shacks wooden prefabs, uh, vanilla type prefabs, vehicles, the bunkers, greenhouses, homes, platforms, pier shacks, capsules, and the diner set. There are also ground options. Fireplaces and bonfires are pretty neat. Modular canopies to add to your buildings different types of fittings, lights, patchwork, and just other decoration options. A ton of new fences, a barbed wire fence, some broken gross walls, the modular fort section which adds some nice brick walls, metal railings, quarry fences, concrete fences, the car fence which I am a big fan of. If you're making a junk town type fence, this is a great way to add cars and have it look like it was actually meant to be a wall piece. There are junk fences, barbed wire wooden fences, wooden sloped fences, chain link, all kinds of fences, and it just keeps going. There are so many options in this mod. There's also a ton of ramshackle furniture. You see different kinds of beds and sitting arrangements, modular sofas that you can piece together to make whatever shapes you want, tables, containers, custom dog houses for dog meat to use, a handful of decorations that are all excellent for adding just a little bit of life to your settlement barrels and boxes that sort of thing new resources which are excellent just about every food item that you can find in the game a new planter section where you can add planters <laughs> and different plots of land just kind of like uh, workshop rearrange ads but some different ones new types of water we have this silo here, a couple of small silos, boilers, and giant water towers even. Anything you can imagine, <laughs> we've got it. We also have different types of power. This little power box, which is great for powering individual buildings, as well as solar power. Can't build that because I require the solar powered perk. Some fans and windmills, generators, and batteries and even some quantum nuclear power, it looks like. And then a bunch of new types of power connectors, lights, it just goes on and on, defense, exploding cars, new ways to put down traders and stores, and some aesthetic looking ones as well. You can have a plain mat where they just stand there or an entire little get up for them to sit in, which is pretty nice for adding some aesthetics. And uh, if you head over here, actually, there is decoration for each type of store, which is very, very nice. I really do mean it when I say this is one of my favorite settlement mods. It just has so much to offer. That was just the clothing section. There's also other decoration, which adds a bunch of miscellaneous things. 
and a bonus decoration which has even more categories we have your kitchen bedroom living room garage garden resource decorations so if you're going to put down a water pump you can have some tools for the water pump as well um clothing decorations bathroom lockers external and office that's pretty neat and it's not even over yet. Deadlands adds a bunch of dead trees and broken walls and stuff like that. Rocks, dead bodies. Fallender is the section with completely new meshes and textures that he created himself. Like different signs, piers, our sleeping bags and other new furniture. Different containers like backpacks and storage bins. A bunch of random decorations like boxes, guitars. And some new resources like lighting, like this really cool lamp here, new types of radios, and a bunch of other stuff. This well is also really, really neat. And it kind of pairs nicely with this mod I'm about to show you. And then really quick, before we move on, he also has an expansion that adds a ton of RVs you can see here. Moving on, we have Cabin in the Woods, which is part of the Master Plan Suite by Ethreon. This mod adds a nice log cabin structures to the game, all broken up into walls, roofs, floors, everything you could want, as well as some doors, furniture, fireplaces, and other decorations. And like I was saying this well, pieces really nicely together with these. I think these mods kind of fit nice together. Um, if we check it out, we head over to the master plan section in your wood category and head over to the cabin in the woods. We have the log cabin structures, which I used to make this here. You have your walls, floors, roofs, railings, fences, some other decoration, windows, fireplaces, and stairs. There's also a large cabin section where you make even bigger walls and bigger cabins. Everything is roughly similar, but just a little bit different. Really big doors and logs here. <laughs> Let me find that door, yeah. That thing is huge. There are also some custom furniture, some new beds, benches, tables, a magazine shelf and bobblehead stand, and some fireplaces, a firewood, chimney smoke, and every painting in the game, but in this cool little stick frame. And uh, I think there's actually a painting texture over that. Yeah, it looks really nice. So yeah, that is cabin in the woods uh check out all of ethereon's other stuff too he's got a couple of things like port royal which adds nautical themed sets just like this one up next is a very useful mod that is thematic and practical this adds a ton of ramshackle furniture to the game just like dead wasteland does but it also adds a lot of cool things for traders so if we open up the menu here and head over to thematic and practical you have the scavenger section, which is where you build all of this cool new furniture. But there's also the trading emporium. So the structure here adds these neat angled pieces that you can piece together. One of my favorite things to do is in Sanctuary, I'll have a bunch of these coming out and circling around this tree here. All of them with a different trader. So you can walk around the tree and get a bunch of uh, different types of goods. These cloth roofs are also very, very nice. Some neat stair staircases doing like curved angles and stuff like that. And a couple of little filler boards. There is also a raider section and brotherhood of steel section that you have to unlock by joining either of those factions. Up next we have a another very popular mod and that being a sandbag fortifications by Nuttalator. <laughs> This adds a ton of militaristic style fortifications involving sandbags or barbed wire, um, trenches, and a lot of them can be used as guard posts that you can actually assign somebody to. Um, in the base version of this mod, I believe it just adds a category to your defense section, but I actually have a patch that makes its own menu here. So when we head in there, we will see all of the guard posts available with different kinds of tires, sandbags, and structures. We have all of the trenches that you can connect together. We have sandbag cover and walls, which are the non-guard post variants of these. Fences and barricades adds your dragon teeth, barbed wire, and other fences. And then camouflage and command adds the camouflage section and this big ol' hut 
which is an empty structure that you can just plop down and fill with whatever you want. Next up we have Do It Your Shelf by Dinosaurs. So Do It Your Shelf is a pretty old mod, but it has received a lot of updates and has so much to offer. So when we head over to Do It Your Shelf, we have a ton of shelf options. Uh, we'll stay in post-war. And you plop down a shelf like this, and you head over to the clutter section. And now we have a lot of categories here, like drawers and kitchen, food and drink, factions, decoration, etc. Let's grab ammo here, and you'll see we actually need ammo to build these, but they pop right into different parts of the shelf. So you can actually decorate these shelves however you want, and it all snaps nice and easy so you don't have to work super hard to fill them up. And like I said, there's a ton of shelf options. We have these vendors, which are actual vendors that you can snap things into right there. We have some unique things like doors to the refrigerator, which also has snap points. So if we were to grab, say, this refrigerator over here, we can actually fill that up with whatever we want. Let's put some clothes in it. Why not? We're using it as a shelf anyways. And then we can add a door to it. Next on the docket is Creative Clutter by Crayon Kit. Creative Clutter adds a ton of new decoration options to the game, and just decorations, no structures this time. We have a ton of new posters of different Fallout advertising that are all kind of funny. There is a good variety of non-powered posters as well, with different kinds of advertisements, as well as some wanted posters, and all kinds of neat stuff, and some decals as well like this paper on the wall. You might see it in the regular game, but you've never been able to place it before. Well, now you can. And some paper posters as well. There are also some other wall... There are also some other wall decorations, like these little embroidery hoops, and some neat paintings, a cat-ass trophy, some crosses, birdhouses, or cuckoo clocks, rather. A wheel, if you have a nautical vibe, and just a ton of other stuff. If you want to see everything to offer, go check them out yourself. Link is always in the description. Along with wall decorations, though, we have everything categorized into room. We have bedroom, bathroom, living room, kitchen, office, outdoor, display, toys and games, medical, workshop, raider, and miscellaneous decorations as well. Just about anything you could imagine, this mod probably covers it. And if you're building a settlement and you want to fill it up and make it lively, this is a mod that is probably another must-have. <laughs> At least for me. We also have a light and power section with some cool new lights, which obviously need power to run. There's also some candles. This one's coming out of a bottle. This one's out of a bowl. This pipe candelabra is pretty cool, and a Nuka-Cola bottle as well. A ton of neat options that fit right in with the base game. You just have never really seen them before. I think that one even has physics, yeah. The, the lantern waves in the wind there a little bit. Pretty neat. Fireplaces. It's a new addition to this mod. We can pop a fireplace down here. And then throw a pipe there. And it'll actually come out the side of your building with some smoke. Pretty neat. Also rugs resources like different plants colors so that things are actually broken up by color so if you want blue stuff black stuff dark blue stuff it's got it different holiday decorations for christmas and halloween and then new decorated vendors and crafting station when we look at the vendors we have a new bar set up that you can snap onto a counter or just set up an all-new one right here and finally, we have Better Stores by Blaze the 59 So in Better Stores, we have a handful of new counters, which are great for kitchen and bar decorations. And a couple of angled ones, as well as different color varieties for your kitchen. We have some neon signs, which are very nice if you're trying to spruce up your environment and label everything nice and pretty. We have regular signs. Metal signs that can tell you which kind of vendor you're looking at here. We have wooden signs, which I really, really like. We have a Brotherhood Property Farm, a Greenhouse, different ways to label 
Gunners beware. Protected by the Minutemen is a really nice looking one. We have faction signs, pinup posters, sandwich boards, and miscellaneous sides that glow up like these two from different parts of the wasteland. There are also a handful of decorations. This one is for a bar and restaurant. We have a couple of kegs and refrigerators. For medical, we have different medical boxes and other miscellaneous medical items. And for miscellaneous direct decorations, we have this cool little barber shop sign and some other stuff that you can spread around. We have a handful of flags that aren't in the base game, including different nationalities, Enclave, Le Caesar's Legion, New California Republic, Nuka Cola, a bunch of cool decorative stuff. For defense, we have some guard dogs that you can purchase for caps. Resources, you can actually place down livestock now, and that will give you food, which is pretty neat, but you do have to assign somebody to them to take care of them. There's a butcher station now, where somebody is producing food by hawking up meat. And a fishery as well, which is a boat that you place in the water and will give you a ton of food. It's a great thing for, like, Spectacle Island. There's a handful of new uh, interesting plants that have different bonuses that you can craft at a cooking station. We have entertainment in the form of a zoo, where you can place down various types of animals that will actually give your settlement happiness, and they don't actually attack you, which is pretty neat. And then finally, we have a couple of new stores, that being the barber and surgery station which are a nice little addition that I think was added in the vault Tech DLC, but, well, if you don't have it, now you have this. And I know I said that was the last mod, but we're not done yet. We have another bonus mod, and that is going to be Place Everywhere by the Lich. And uh, it is another must-have mod. I mean, if you're playing on PC and you're really serious about settlement building, and you want to fine adjust things, well, first of all, you can place anything anywhere, which is just... Very nice. <laughs> and uh, more importantly, you can adjust things very finely with arrow keys at different intervals. Like very small intervals. You can rotate them, do whatever you need to do, clip them together, turn off snapping if you want to place it in the ground or inside of a wall. This one's not cooperating, but you get the point. There you go. You can just mix and match everything together and... You're not going to use it for this, but you can make it look really nice if you put your mind to it. It's a very useful tool, and uh, can't live without it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you found at least one mod in here that you haven't seen before that you'll add to your load order. Uh, that is my goal, as always, is to introduce you guys to something new that'll help you improve your Fallout load order and make it the perfect game for you. So, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and if you want to see more, consider subscribing. There will be more top 10s and mod bundles coming out soon. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.